Through a brainstorming session, a project team will try and identify risks that would negatively affect their project. Then they would assess the probability of the risk happening and the impact of the risk if it did occur. They would then come up with a response plan and monitor the risks throughout the project. In this video, we're going to focus on the risk measure or risk score. If you click on to cell H6, you'll see that the risk measure is the probability of occurrence or F6 multiplied by the impact or G6. We have a probability by impact matrix or table in picture form over on the right, which I'll drag in so that you can easily see it. This displays a range of possible scores. In our example, probability is measured from 0.1 or a 10% chance of happening up to 0.9 or a 90% chance of happening. Impact is measured on a scale of 1, which means very low impact, up to 5, which means a very high impact or showstopper. In between, we have the range of scores. Anything coloured in green is classed as a low priority risk, anything coloured in orange is a moderate risk, and anything coloured in red is a high risk. If the result is zero, in other words the calculation hasn't taken place yet, like you see in rows 9 to 11, then we don't want any fill colour, we just want the zero value to be displayed in bold. We want to use conditional formatting on the H column to automatically display those colours based on the result of the calculation. Select cells H6 to H11. Click on the conditional formatting button, select Manage Rule, select New Rule. Select Format only cells that contain. We'll deal with the zero value first. Leave the first box at cell value, change the drop down to equal to and type in zero. Click the Format button and on the Font tab heading, select Bold and click OK and OK again. We'll do the low priority risk next. Click the New Rule button, select Format only cells that contain, leave the first two boxes as they are, click into the third box across, type in 0.1, click into the next box and type in 0.7. Click the Format button and Fill tab heading, select Green, click OK and OK again. We'll do the moderate risk next. Click the New Rule button, select Format only cells that contain, click into the third box across, type in 0.9, click into the next box and type 2.1. Click the Format button, select Orange, click OK and OK again. The final one is the high risk. Click the New Rule button, Select Format only cells that contain, click the second drop down, select Greater than or Equal to, click into the next box and type in 2.5. Click the Format button, select Red, click OK and OK again. Turn on the Stop if True checkbox for each of them and click OK. To test that all is working properly, Click on to cell F6 and we'll downgrade the probability to 0.3 and enter. And that has turned orange, which is correct. Let's downgrade that probability again to 0.1 and enter. And that has turned green, which is also correct.